Well, changes in the planning law may well encourage growth. But what about changes to the tax system? Finding a tax which is cheap to collect, hard to avoid, and doesn't discourage people from earning more would surely be a good idea. Step forward, the land value tax. If you haven't heard of it, it's a way of taxing wealth, the land people own, instead of their income. The LVT has traditionally been perceived as a socialist policy. But this week, a Conservative MP argued it would be a very sensible solution to our economic difficulties. So is it an idea whose time has come? Well, Michael Fallon is still here, and David Wetzel from the Labour Land Campaign also joins us in the studio. Mr Wetzel, I'll come to you first of all. How would this work, the LVT, for those who aren't familiar with it? It works on the principle that uh, all land originally was provided free. And uh, land is there for people to use. And by taxing land values, we're sharing the land wealth, the rental value of land. And it's ironic, listening to the earlier discussion, that uh, one of the reasons there's such pressure on countryside in the southeast uh, is because we're not using the land which is up in the north, uh, the north of this country. And if we had a land value tax and reduced other taxes, reduced taxes on uh, wages, uh, the income tax, reduced taxes on sales like VAT, then what would happen is that businesses would tend to want to grow in the north of England. We would see more use of regional airports. We wouldn't need third and fourth runways okay. down south. And we wouldn't need to build on the countryside. <laughs> that's probably not an argument that's, uh, that's selling itself to an MP who represents a, a constituency here in the southeast of England. Is, are you completely opposed to this idea, Mr Fallon? Well, not completely. I mean, it, it sounds great in principle. And by the way, three previous Labour governments had a good go at thinking it through and trying to introduce it. And it didn't quite uh, come off. I'm rather wary about new taxes. Where I agree with Dave is there are people sitting on land. Mm. There are house builders sitting on land at the moment, which is one reason we want to simplify the planning system. It is important to bring land that is redundant into use so that people can use it. I agree with Dave there. I'm not quite sure that a new tax is the way to do it. What it impact really do you works. think? What impact? Sorry, what impact? Because it. I know there's lots of detail on this which we could go into, but what impact do you think it would have somewhere like the South East, Dave? First of all? It works as a tax on land speculators and people holding buildings out of use because they know over time they're going to make profits from empty buildings and sites in london there's still two bomb sites that have never been built on now if the owners of those sites have to pay a tax every year they'll want to get an income and the income will come from using those sites they'll either use them themselves or they will rent them out to okay. somebody else to that's use. great for empty sites but as i understand it one of the problems with lvt is that it would penalize elderly people sitting mm. in empty homes who haven't got an income and also farmers there are lots of those in this region in uh, Australia, for example, when they introduced their land value tax, they exempted uh, residential. Everybody's entitled to one piece of land for their own home. And, and that's something the Conservative government could look at if they wanted to introduce but this. Indeed, I mean, that's what Nicholas Bowles MP, who's, uh, who's written about this recently, was suggesting. You used to exempt farmers and the elderly, and you've got quite a workable tax here that would solve a lot of economic problems, and I might mention tax avoidance, which is a big problem. Sure, um, but you find with any new tax, you've then got to look at other people who might get caught in it and so on, and that's what happened when the Labour government tried it previously. I think if you're going to bring land that we both want to see into development, actually, you've got to make the planning system system simpler first so people know where they stand and it's easier you know if they're sitting on empty sites in London the value of London property has shot up in recent mm. years there's really nothing holding them back from developing that. You, they you sell are, it to somebody else that's you, the problem they make money by selling it to somebody else who's going to sit on it and as for Labour governments they've never introduced not since the war an annual land value they tried, tax didn't they? they've tried to yeah. tax development value that stops development that keeps the land idle what you do is tax the land itself whether it gets developed or not and that encourages development and it eases the pressure okay. on the countryside just, just to I, i'm sure you're aware you're in a coalition government at the moment sure. vince cable said this might work i know he wants a, he's talked about mansion tax as well yeah. if george osborne does scrap the 50p rate what would you be happy with as an alternative um, well, <laughs> scrapping the we'd only scrap the 50p rate, by the way, if it wasn't an effective rate, if it didn't bring in much money. So there wouldn't necessarily be an alternative to it. 
but I take your point. If you're going to do something for the wealthiest, then you've got to make sure they're, they're um, also carrying a fair, sh fair burden of the revenue you're bringing in. For example, we're taking child benefit away from high earners mm. and uh, clamping down on tax avoidance. Um, introducing new treaties with Switzerland so people can't push their money offshore. Doing all that's extremely important. We'll, we'll look at the idea of a tax. I, I hope Dave will look at our simplified planning system in return. <laughs> we'll certainly look at these things because, you know, I think the aim is here in common. We don't want to see people simply hoarding land or sitting on land. We do want to bring it into use. Okay, the I'm Institute afraid. of Fiscal Studies spent four years okay. looking at our tax system and have recommended a loan value tax. We could obviously go on. We're going to have to